What's up, guys? <clears throat> Welcome back to Libertalia Game Supply. Um, just doing a quick little intro here. So this is going to be a combo tutorial, combo guide, uh, whatever you want to call it for Bujins. Uh, I made a video similar to this a couple weeks ago, and just kind of like watching it back, it was super jumbled, just kind of a mess. Uh, and it wasn't really super clear about uh, everything that I was trying to say, I guess, to make it understandable. I kept interchanging a lot of things and like a lot of but ifs and a but also type statements. So I'm hoping this one's a little bit more clear, can make a little bit more sense, is a little bit more useful. Um, to start, before I get into the combos, uh, let me specify that when I say a starter card, I'm talking about these cards here in particular. And when I'm talking about an extender, I'm talking about these cards here in particular. Uh, and so then beyond that, if there's something that doesn't classify as a starter or an extender, uh, I'll state it, but I don't think that comes up in this video in particular. At the end of this, I'll show the deck list that I'm using to run these combos. Um, and you can just take a quick look at that. It'll just be a picture of the deck. Uh, if you want a more in-depth explanation of how that deck is running or how I built it to run, I'll have a link to that video both in the description down below as well as in the end screen there. So you guys can check that out if you're interested also. Um, without further ado, let's get into this thing. All right, so for combo number one, this will be the most basic one. Uh, it's assuming you only got your starter to begin the combo. So starter would be Torifun or Tenki. Uh, so you only need one uh, or you need the Tenki to go through. So you have uh, statistically a f just over a 42% chance of opening this. So not terrible. It's like one in every two games, assuming you have nothing else in hand. You can do this combo. Um, so fairly reliable and fairly consistent you know just under 50 percent of the time to put that in perspective if we were to get tanky back to two it would go above 50 percent by just a touch and if we were to get tanky back to three uh this would be like a f almost 56 57 percent chance of opening this combo so it'd be super consistent and it's kind of your bread and butter so all you need is your starter tori foon we're going to open ap activate the effect tribute itself to special summon two uh, so for this combo in particular, we're going to specifically choose Turtle for a reason I'll explain at the end, and then Mahitatsu. Uh, so after this summon, we're going to use Mahitatsu's effect. We're going to banish the Torifun from the graveyard, and then we're going to send a Sinew to the graveyard. So Sinew's still in the grave, Torifun is banished. You're then going to overlay your Mahitatsu and your Turtle for a Susanoo. Then you're going to detach the turtle specifically the turtle so that it's in your graveyard to search for your search you're going to add haruko to your hand uh, you're then going to activate haruko in the pendulum zone activate haruko's effect banish itself to rank up susanoo into kagutsuchi uh, kagutsuchi on summon will mill five we're not going to account for that in this combo uh, but this is how this would end the reason you chose these specific cards is Kagutsuchi's effect to detach to protect itself from being destroyed. So the turtle being engraved can banish itself to protect the Kagutsuchi from targeting effects. So things that might banish it or bounce it that it can't protect itself from, the turtle will protect itself from. It's also a pretty big body at 2500 plus whatever you gain off of its mill effect. Uh, but the sinew just ensures that it's not going to get attacked over either. So this is actually a very solid... Like, assuming you had nothing else in your hand, no back row to back it up, no additional cards at all, this is a pretty solid one-card board for something as low tier as, uh, like, a Bujin deck in terms of, like, not a ton of support, um, not a ton of options. So, uh, you could take this into a different direction if you wanted. Um, you could summon the Amaterasu and said to special summon back the Torifun from the Banish Zone in order to get that on board for potentially a, a, a next turn effect, but odds are it's not staying on the board until next turn, so really we're just looking to end on something with some good protection, a good body, and a good effect. Alright, for our second combo, we're going to go with a two-card combo. We're going to assume you were able to open an extender and a... Uh, Ex or a, a starter and an extender. So Harume and Tenki for this one in particular, but this can be any of your extenders and this can be either Tenki or Torifun, a little bit less negotiable. But um, well, we're starting with two cards. You're gonna start by activating the Tenki to get the search effect. Search is gonna grab you the Torifun, which you're gonna normal summon. Then you're gonna activate the effect of that, tributing itself, putting it in the graveyard to grab two uh, from the deck. So we'll go Hair and we'll go Mahitatsu. 
Mahitatsu's effect is gonna activate. We're gonna banish the Tori Foon right there uh, in order to pitch the, uh, we'll go Sinyu again, but that can be any of your Bujingis, you know, kind of personal preference. Uh, then we're gonna overlay for Susanoo. We're gonna detach here. So when we detach here, we're gonna detach Mahitatsu because we're gonna end up banishing this for Harume's special summon. And we don't wanna detach the uh, hair and then have to banish one of our uh, active effects in the graveyard just to get an extra special summon, uh, just to clarify that. But we'll search the Haruko. Then we're gonna banish that Mahitatsu to special summon the Harume. Then we're gonna activate the Haruko in the pendulum zone. Haruko's effect is gonna activate, it's gonna banish itself and we'll rank up the Susanoo into Amaterasu. We're then going to activate Amaterasu's effect. So here we can detach the hair because now uh, it won't matter anymore. And having that little extra um, effect negation or protection from destruction effects against your board leading up to this F0 play uh, might come in handy. Uh, Amaterasu's effect to special summon. You can grab whichever one you want. At this point, none of the effects can activate because you already used them. And it's just going to be a body. We'll just say we grab Torifun for the sake of it. Does not matter at all. Then we're going to overlay. So what you overlay into here kind of can also vary. For this instance, we're gonna go Tsukiyomi. The reason being we can detach one. Uh, material being detached does not matter here either. Uh, you'll discard your hand and draw two, so a little extra draw power. Then you're gonna overlay. The rest of your materials are gonna go to the grave. And you're gonna make F0, little F0. And I'll just put it in defense mode because you're going to overlay again into big F0. So now you've ended, assuming you only have those two cards to start, and you got a three material F0. So plenty of protection there. Effect negation can steal bodies. And then you got a very full graveyard that is actually pretty much useless here. Um, but ideally, on your next turn, assuming you're going to last because this thing is a beast, uh, you have a very full graveyard of effects that you can make use of uh, in terms of the sinew and the hair. Or, you know, depending on what you're playing against, you can set up this graveyard however you want. Remember that I chose these two specifically, so you can choose any Bujingis to put in there, depending on the situation you're put in. All right, so for our last combo here, we'll show you something. This is fairly unlikely to open, um, but it is possible. And, you know, if you get your desires to draw some extra cards, if we get, you know, whatever else, uh, if there's ways to get this into your hand. Maybe not turn one, but you can have this set up. So essentially what you're looking for is a starter card and two extenders in this particular instance. We've got Arasuda and we've got uh, Monster Reborn. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm not, this is not what you're looking for necessarily, but if you're able to open a good hand, I wanna show you what kind of a board you guys can make with this. Uh, so we'll start with Tori Fu and your starter, the only one. Uh, to the graveyard. You guys know the drill. We got two, so we'll go Turtle and Mahitatsu. We're going to use Mahitatsu to banish the Tori Foon in order to send a hair. Uh, in this combo, it will matter what's in your graveyard because you're going to end with a pretty brutal board in terms of your opponent being able, being able to play through it. Uh, so off of Mahitatsu's effect, our pseudo will activate to special summon itself. Let me get everything on the field in the camera here. So now we have three materials on board, and we have the Reborn still in hand. Uh, Hair is in the graveyard, Tori Foon is banished, and we are not even close to done yet. So we're going to overlay. Uh, uh, overlay for Susanoo. Activate Susanoo's effect. Uh, you can detach whatever. Uh, so we'll detach the turtle. Uh, effect is going to search the Haruko. Haruko is going to affect activate in the uh, Pendulum Zone banish itself. So now this will be important. This is not once per turn, so you can rank up twice since you have two of them. Uh, we'll rank up into Amaterasu. Then we're going to use Amaterasu's effect. We'll detach. Um, so it does kind of matter what you detach here. You're going to need this in the graveyard at some point, um, but it'll get there either way as the play continues. So we'll detach it now. You know what? We won't detach it now. I'll show you how it gets there later. So we'll detach the... Uh, Mahitatsu to special summon. It can be whatever. We'll grab the uh, Haruko back. You're then going to overlay. You're going to make another Susanoo. You're going to detach again. Then you're going to search the second Haruko. 
Um, so as I said at the beginning, I'll show you guys the quick deck list at the end of what I'm playing so that the second Haruko makes sense. Uh, and if you want a more in-depth explanation of how this deck works, in my opinion, uh, I'll post a link to that at the end also. So now in hand, I got the Reborn, I got the Haruko. On field, I got the Amaterasu, the Susanoo, and I need this in the graveyard. So really easy, you're just gonna overlay these to make your little F-Zero. The materials will go to the grave. Uh, then you're gonna overlay for big F-Zero. So now, similar board to what we had before, but because we had this Monster Reborn, we'll Monster Reborn the Susanoo, we'll activate the Haruko, we'll banish the Haruko again for rank up effect, and we'll get Kagutsuchi, and you can mill five. So now, what we've got here, on this board, effect negation protects itself, protects itself, mills five, can gain attack. Uh, in the graveyard, we also have hare and turtle, and like I've said a couple times now, you can choose which Bujingis you have. So if you're not worried about getting destroyed because you can effect, negate effects, steal monsters, uh, protect itself from being destroyed, you can make these anything. It can be quill and sinew, uh, whatever, depending on what you're playing against. But this is a very, very strong setup because in order to destroy this board, like lots of stuff has to has to happen in order to play through this. Um, Rageki doesn't kill it. Um, I can't think of what else would be a massive wipe. I suppose the uh, evenly mashed kind of wipes everything, kind of messes you up pretty bad. Uh, but just general massive destruction effects, stuff of that nature, is not going to kill this board. They have to really play a bunch of resources to get through all of this in order to clear your board. So really powerful turn one or any turn board. If you can get this on the field at any point, you're in really good shape. Uh, so I wanted to share that one with you. It's a little bit less likely, and there's a couple of ways to get to this board. Uh, but that one was just the easiest one to demonstrate. The other ways would, would require you to get a little bit more creative with how you, the order you're you're using uh, your special summons, the order you're using your extra deck monsters in. But I'll end you guys on that note. As I said, we'll cut away to just a quick picture of the deck list here so you guys can take a look at what I'm playing. Uh, and then, like I said, if you wanted an explanation for why I play what I play, I'll leave that deck list also in the uh, end screen. But thank you guys for checking out these combos. Hopefully it was a little bit more clear, a little bit more clean and easier to understand. And if you guys want to see anything else in the future, just drop a comment down below. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great day.